What's up everybody, Eric with Morse 4x4 Center and today we are going to tell you how to pick the right shocks for your Jeep. All right, so to pick the right shock for your Jeep, you need to understand what the shock actually does on your vehicle. Now, if you were to go to your Jeep right now and remove one of the shocks and go driving down the road, you're gonna notice that your tire where you took that shock off is just gonna bounce up and down uncontrollably. It's not going to stop. Well, that is the shock's job. It is there to control that movement, to make it a very fluid and smooth movement as you're going over bumps, making turns and things like that. It slows down the movement, making it more controlled, keeping your tire in contact with the pavement or the dirt or the ground or wherever you're driving. All right, so when do you want to change your shocks? There's basically two different scenarios that you're going to run into as a Jeep owner. One is if you lift your vehicle, you're increasing the distance between the axle and the mounting point on the frame of the shock, so you have to buy longer travel shocks. The second is if your shocks are just plain wore out. Now, there's a few ways to tell if your shocks are wore out. One, the most common way is when you're driving down the road, you'll notice that your vehicle is just constantly bouncing up and down. It's not really feeling as solid. That's a sign that your shocks are wore out. You can also go to a corner of the vehicle and push up and down on it really hard. And if your vehicle doesn't stop bouncing immediately, you might wanna check your shocks. Also, there are seals in the shocks and once they wear out, it will leak the fluid. Now, you typically won't see the fluid on the shocks. You'll actually see the aftermath of all the road grime and everything getting caked up on the shock body. You'll see all this black gunk and everything. So that is also another sign. Also, you've got bushings on both ends of the shock on the top and bottom mounting points. If you hear any clunking or weird noises or squeaking or anything like that, definitely check those out. If those bushings are wore out, time to replace the shocks as well. And that's basically the common failures that you're going to run into with a shock. Also, too, if you're a wheeler and you bash it on a rock and it explodes, yeah, replace it. Now, when it comes to the different types of shocks available for your Jeep, we're going to be sticking with the most common two. We've got the twin tube and then also the monotube shock. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're going to blow up my comment section. Eric, there's remote reservoir, there's triple bypass, there's coilover. I got it, guys. I know. I, I hear you. But we're sticking to the most common two shocks. If you're watching this video right now, needing help trying to pick out a triple bypass shock for your Jeep, I don't think that shock's for you. I'm just saying. I could be wrong, but we're just sticking to the twin tube and the monotube in this video. So starting with the twin tube shock, that is gonna be your most common and basic shock that you'll find available for your Jeep. Basically, what a twin tube shock is, it's your shock cylinder filled with fluid and you have a piston inside it. That's basically it. There's a couple more seals and things like that, but we're not going too in depth into that. So a twin tube shock is gonna be good for a daily driver, very light off-road use, nothing too crazy. They provide actually a very comfortable ride. There are a few twin tube shocks that come charged with nitrogen like the Skyjacker Nitro 8000s, but for the most part, most of them are just a fluid filled shock. Now, if you use these heavily off-road or very fast, hard use, you are going to actually experience cavitation inside your shock. That's where the piston is moving up and down so fast, it'll heat up the fluid and start to make it foam. And then all you have are nothing but air bubbles passing through the piston, and it basically makes the shock forget that it's a shock. So definitely keep that in mind if you're choosing a twin tube shock, daily driver, very light off-road, also provides the most comfortable driving experience for those types of driving situations. So onto a monotube shock. So basically a monotube shock is always nitrogen charged. Now they're different than a twin tube because they have a separate cylinder that houses that nitrogen gas. It is not mixed into the cylinder with the shock oil. So by separating those two, what you get is better cooling and more efficiency out of that shock. You can also fit more fluid into it as well for better dampening. So they are going to run cooler. They are gonna be more resilient to cavitation. So you can run them harder off road and you won't get that foaming of the shock fluid. So for a monotube shock, typically any harder use, if you're definitely gonna be out there wheeling and beating on it off road, definitely consider a monotube shock. However, they can also be used on the road as well. You will experience a little more firm of a ride, but 
that's okay. You'll be a little bit more stable on road if that's something that you require out of your Jeep. I know some of you guys that are lifted a little bit taller may need that extra stability. If you've really got that high center of gravity, a mono two shock will definitely help you out there as well. All right, so I'm sure you're wondering which shock is the best. Well, that depends on your type of driving that you're gonna be doing. Again, for the twin tube, that's better suited for a daily driver on the road, not really a whole lot of off-road driving or very light trails, not really lifted too high either. It's gonna provide you the most comfortable ride for that type of driving. Now, if you've got huge tires, you're lifted really high, you're driving really heavily off-road, or if you need that extra firmness while you're driving on the streets for extra stability, you might wanna look into a monotube shock. So just keep those in mind when you're choosing shocks. But if you're still not sure after watching this video, you can call our Jeep experts at 1-877-553-5337. They're standing by. You can definitely jog their brains and they'll help you choose the right shock for your Jeep. And you can also email us at sales at morris4x4center.com. I appreciate you watching this video so much. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and definitely follow us on YouTube as well as Instagram and Facebook. We post content daily. You do not want to miss out on any of it. We've got some great stuff coming up for you guys. I'm Eric with Morris 4x4 Center and I hope to see you out on the trail.